an ideal gas undergoes a four step cycle as shown in the pv diagram below during this cycle heat is absorbed by the gas in now it is asked to find the heat absorbed by the gas in which process now see we know that if heat is positive then the heat is absorbed by the gas and if heat is negative then the heat is rejected by the gas so in question it is asked to find the heat absorbed so heat must be a positive so we have in this cycle we have four process 1 2 3 4 now see in process number this 2 and 4 volume is constant so in process we'll solve for first process number 2 and 4 in this volume is constant so it is a isochoric process and in case of isochoric process q can be written as that is n cv delta t so q is equal to a cv is f by 2r so this is equal to f by 2 nr delta t now see in process number 2 and process number 4 temperature is not given so we'll convert this formula in uh, in the formula of pressure and volume so if we use ideal gas equation pv is equal to nr t then if we differentiate with respect to temperature see volume is constant in the both the process so v dp is equal to nr delta t so nr delta t can be replaced by f by 2 v delta p so this is the heat in the process isochoric process right now see in process number 2 pressure is decreasing while in process number 4 pressure is increasing so for process number 2 delta p is negative so we can write q is also negative and process number 4 we can write delta p is positive as pressure is increasing so delta p is positive so q is equal to positive right now we'll discuss about process 1 and 3 so in process 1 and 3 see process 1 and process 3 pressure is constant as pressure is constant here we can write for isobaric process q can be written as n cp delta t so q is equal to n cp is f plus 2 by 2 into r delta t so see q is equal to f plus 2 divided by 2 into nr delta t again we don't have knowledge about temperature for process 1 and 3 but we know ki volume is changing in this process so again we can use pv is equal to nrt so if we differentiate then pressure into delta v is equal to nr delta t so the formula will look like this q is equal to f plus 2 by 2 into p delta v now see in process 1 volume is increasing while in process 3 volume is decreasing so we can write in process number 1 delta v is positive as delta v is positive so q will be positive and in process number 3 delta v is negative as delta v is negative q will be negative so we have two processes here in which your q is positive so q positive is in process number 4 and in process number 1 so 1 and 4 both are correct one so steps 1 and 4 means option c is a correct one right